In this video, we will discuss the Arrhenius equation and the rate constant's dependence on temperature. The Arrhenius equation relates the rate constant K with the collision frequency factor, the activation energy, the gas constant, and the temperature of a reaction. Now what is the frequency factor? Frequency factor for a reaction is an experimentally derived uh, constant that tells us basically how often the, these compounds bump into each other. The activation energy, well that's the hill, the amount of energy we have to overcome in order to actually push the reaction forward. Gas constant, as we know, is 8.31447 joules per mole Kelvin. And the reason we're using joules is we're talking about energy. And the temperature, as always, is going to be in Kelvin. And of course, let's not forget E, Euler's number. Now there's a couple different forms of the Arrhenius equation. What we're really interested in, in this case is using this one. This form of the Arrhenius equation relates the rate constant at some temperature t as compared to the rate constant at another temperature. Now the one above, we can use that for graphing. That's very useful in lab. However, in the classroom, the two rate constant, two temperature form is actually most useful. So how do we use this? Well, here we've got some data on the decomposition of nitrogen dioxide into nitrogen monoxide and oxygen. We have two different rate constants that have been measured in some method at two different temperatures. Well, what can we do? Well, we can calculate the activation energy with this information. If we take a look, we know what R is, that's the gas constant, and we know what the rate, constant, rate constants are at these two temperatures. So in this case, determining the activation energy is just a matter of plugging in all the data and the constant and solving algebraically. Keep track of your negative signs. If you neglect one of these, you're not going to get the right answer. Now, all activation energies have to be positive. There's no such thing as a negative activation energy in this class. So negative signs should cancel out, which they do. And for the most part, we report activation energies in kilojoules per mole. Now you may notice one thing, we didn't bother putting in the units for the rate constant. Well, that's because they cancel each other out. And then of course we take the natural log of them, so anything that you take the natural log of is going to become unitless. What else can we do with the Arrhenius equation? Well, if we know the activation energy, and we know the rate constant at one temperature, maybe we can find out what the rate constant is as an, at another temperature. Same equation, little different calculation. Now be very careful. The gas constant R is given to us in joules per Kelvin mole, so we need to convert our activation energy to joules per mole. Otherwise, it's not going to turn out right. Your units must cancel correctly. So in this case, we are left with a little bit of an issue at the end. We need to get rid of that natural log so we can solve for K2. So we need to take the anti-natural log of both sides, and now we can solve for K2. Now, if we raise the temperature of a reaction, we expect the reaction rate to go up. We started at 0.370 at 235 Kelvin, and sure enough, the rate constant went up to 0.933 per molar per second. 